Barangay is the one form of government that we inherit. A barangay is the smallest administrative division in the Philippines and it is the native Filipino term for a village, district, or ward. Before the arrival of the Spanish colonizers in the Philippines in the 16th century, the barangays were well organized independent villages and in some cases, cosmopolitan sovereign principalities which functioned much like a city-state. The barangay was the dominant organizational pattern among indigenous communities in the Philippine archipelago. The name barangay originated from balangay, a Malay word meaning sailboat. Bahay Kubu the Bahai Kubu is one of the most illustrative and recognized icons of the Philippines. The name of the primitive Nibahat is actually based on the Spanish phrase Kubo, meaning cube, probably because of its rectangular appearance and Bahai is the Filipino word for house. Philippine Folk Dances the more than 300 year Spanish occupation in the Philippines greatly influenced Filipino folk dancing. As the Spanish brought Christianity to the country, the religion reflected most of the stories and presentations of Filipino folk dances. Apart from using Spanish style clothes slightly modified with Filipino elements, these dances also infused the Filipinos' everyday struggles during the Spanish rule. Filipino dancers also used local resources as props like the bamboo gastonets and abanico. Some dances also utilize Spanish steps and footwork with Filipino modifications. For instance, Mindoro's Fandango sa Ilaw derived from the Spanish dance Fandango adapted the use of lively steps and clapping while balancing one oil lamp on the head and one on each hand throughout the dance. Inviting other people to eat Anyone who visits a Filipino home, no matter what time of day, is offered food. If the guests interrupt a meal, which is common because most Filipinos eat five or more meals a day, they are invited to join the dinners. Now, I understand why we offer food to people to eat when someone visits to our home, because we inherited it from Spanish colonization. Dai, Junabek din ha? Oi, to 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 Celebrating fiesta or pista. What actually are fiestas and why do these celebrations occur? The fiesta is of Spanish origin. Spain, being a Roman Catholic country, set aside certain days to remember particular saints with processions and celebrations. When Spanish missionaries entered the Philippines during the mid-1500s, they found that the fiesta was a convenient tool to help teach Filipinos the Roman Catholic faith. From the very beginning, Spaniards brought missionaries to the islands. The Spanish wanted to Christianize the people, as well as colonize the country. Missionaries hoped and expected the people would be drawn to and participate in the colorful processions and religious dramas. When the Spaniards came, many communities were given names of saints. Nearly all towns have a patron saint to remember. Town fiesta have many faces. They usually feature a mass, 
a procession. Long after the religious ritual is completed, people eat, drink, and enjoy the rest of the day. Sinolog Festival Sinolog Festival is an annual cultural and religious festival held every third Sunday of January to honor the Santo Niño. Sinolog commemorates the acceptance of Christianity by the Filipino people. It is dedicated to Senior Santo Niño de Cebu. The statue of Worm was given by Ferdinand Magellan to the wife of Raja Humabon upon her baptism.